How to construct a grid of rectangles proportional to the original frame using GeoGebra. In this applet what we have is a flexible rectangle in which case we're going to chop this thing up into smaller rectangles that look just like the original that is proportional in terms of length and width. We use the midpoint tool. Construct the midpoint by click and then click. You don't have to click and hold just click on a point click on another and it places the midpoint between them. Do that all the way around the rectangle to get started. Now we're going to take the segment tool and create this web with inside the rectangle by going from corner to midpoint, corner to another midpoint, and do that from every possible corner to every possible midpoint. And we're almost there. Uh -huh. And one more corner from here to there. And now we have this mass of intersections from these segments. It's from these intersections that we can create new rectangles by constructing between them. The first one we're going to do using the line tool is actually connect the midpoints. Which if you connect the midpoints you'll find that you have now other rectangles. In fact the original rectangle is now divided into four similar rectangles. The undo button will remove those. Now let's take the segment tool and let's join these corners from here. Excuse me, I'm going to use the line tool and drag over to there. You see how there's the similar intersections down here as well. And now I'm creating yet another grid within this frame of nine rectangles. Perhaps now you can see we have nine rectangles all similar to the original. The next set of points I'm going to use are these. The one here, 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 and there. From these points I'm going to create many lines. I'm going to use the original dia um, connection of the midpoints like I've done before. Like this. But then these are even midpoints to those. So I'm going to draw straight up from this. From that I'm going to use the perpendicular tool. Clicking on a point and a straight object. Doing it here as well. And now you can start to see yet another grid. Point, straight object, and we have how many? 4 by 4 or 16 rectangles all similar to the original. Next I'm going to use these intersection points. With the line tool I'll connect, let's see, from here to there, from here to there. It's the same relative pair all the way around and perhaps you'll start to see even another grid. The first rectangle has made itself available right there and now let's connect these same points in a different direction. And now you can see another grid of rectangles. That is 5 by 5. Taking the original frame and subdividing it into 25 rectangles all similar to the original. This has been constructing a grid of rectangles proportional to the original frame using GeoGebra.